Sweet treats and fizzy drinks have been my favorite since I was a young boy. My brother warned me of the dangers of eating too much, but I was young and foolish and I didn't listen. Over time, I let my addiction consume me and it became an unhealthy habit. There's milk and cola in the fridge. The milk doesn't look as tasty as the cola. I'm glad I chose this cola over the milk because it tastes so good. What are you doing? I thought I warned you not to drink sugary drinks anymore. This is my final warning. You need to stop this right away. Here's your insulin. Your doctor has advised you to take it. You skipped one yesterday and the day before, but you need to take this one today before you go for your medical checkup. Yeah, alright, I'll take it. Oh sure, taking this will make all the difference. <laughs> That's a good one. Even now, my brother's words linger in my mind, reminding me of my mistakes in the past. And now, as I reflect on my mistakes, I never imagined that my choices will lead me to this. As you know, you've been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and had to be amputated. Type 2 diabetes is mainly lifestyle related and develops over time. This is my new reality. Hey, how are you feeling? I've been better. It's hard to shake the feeling that I've failed. I let my unhealthy habits catch up with me. And now, I have to pay the price. You can't beat yourself up over this. The past is the past. Let's just focus on the present. I'm here for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Alright, the doctor has discharged you. Let's get you up on the wheelchair and go home. I'm sorry for putting this burden on you. You must have better things to do than to take care of me. No worries, life has thrown us a curveball, but you are my sibling, and I've got your back. I know you had to do the same for me. But I feel like I've become such a burden. I wouldn't be able to take care of myself anymore. It's... It's hard to believe that this is my new reality. I know, but we'll get through it together. I just wish I could do things like I used to. You will, just in a different way, and I'll be here to help you in whatever way possible. Let me help you get in. Welcome home. I move your things to the downstairs room for easier access. 
hope it works for you when I'm not here. But why? I'm not going to be bedridden for the rest of my life. No, of course not. But it will be easy for you to get around for basic necessities on the same floor. I used to run up these stairs, two at a time. But now, I can barely make it to the first step. You don't have to thank me, just get some rest and let me know if there's something else I can do for you. I'm gonna head out to get some supplies for you in a while but I won't be long. I'm exhausted. I guess I'll take a quick nap then. feeling a little bit thirsty now. Let's try this spell that my brother gave me. I think he isn't back. I guess I'll just get it myself. I'll need to get used to this anyways. Come to think of it, this house is not entirely accessible for me. The sharp edges around the counter and the noticeable elevation between rooms. It is quite challenging and even dangerous for me to move around safely. Let me get something to drink. Where did we put our cups again? Oh yeah, up there. I think I can reach it. Just a little bit more. Ah! What happened just now? Are you okay? I just wanted to get a drink. I tried to reach for the cups, but I just fell. Why didn't you wait for me? You know you're not supposed to overwork yourself. I just wanted to do it myself. You're not a burden, but at the same time, you need to be more careful next time. Thankfully, I arrived just in time. I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to this. It's been a while since we've been to the park. Wanna head to the park for an evening stroll? Yeah, that sounds good. Some fresh air would be nice. Oh, I completely forgot about the stairs. I'm so sorry. I should have thought about this earlier. It's not your fault. I guess we have to find another way. I think there's a ramp on the other side of the park, but the walkway there is muddy and rough. Shall we give it a try? Yeah, sure. Why not? Similar to my house, I've realized that my options around the neighborhood are very limited now. Not many places are easily accessible. And it's frustrating. This walkway is a little bit rougher than I expected. Are you still comfortable to go through here? I don't think this pathway is a safe one. It seems to be bumpy and that will definitely make my wheelchair get stuck on the rocks. The last thing I want today is to fall for another time and injure myself. I don't think it's a good idea. Let's just head back home. I need a 
distraction. Let's see what's on TV. Despite facing challenges, life doesn't have to stop for those with disabilities. It hasn't stopped many people in this world to go out and achieve their goals in life. It's what you do with your life and the choices you make that shape your path ahead. Having a disability doesn't mean life has to come to a halt. It simply means finding new ways to do things we love and continuing to live our lives to the fullest. Embracing and accepting our new reality opens the door to new opportunities and experiences. Remember, life is about living, not about limitations. Did you see that ad on TV? Yeah, I did. What about it? I don't know. It kind of inspired me. I really want to start accepting my condition and learn to embrace my amputation. I don't want to start living my life, even in this condition. I am proud of you. You are a strong and determined individual. And I have no doubt that you'll overcome this new phase of your life in your own unique way. Thanks, and I really appreciate that. It's not going to be easy, but it's better to try than not doing anything at all. That's true, and I'll be here every step of the way supporting you. I know you can do it.